Oh, the number one downloaded game at Apple's App Store right now is not Angry Birds. It's Talking Tom, a cat that repeats everything you say in any language. You can also feed him or scratch his ears to make him purr. That's a happy cat. Talking Tom's been downloaded over 100 million times, and that's not counting the 10 other animal characters available. We spoke to the CEO of the company that makes Talking Tom Outfit 7, Andre Nebergoy, whose name I've been practicing all week, uh, about the game's success. But instead of conducting the interview as myself, I thought I'd ask Talking Tom to step in and help out. Uh, okay. All right, so my first question, how did you guys get to the point where you have, what, 130 million downloads? Well, we created great characters with uh, uh, fantastic animations that people you know, connect emotionally with, and uh, we let people actually tell their stories through these characters. So we are empowering them to become storytellers themselves, which is something that no one's done before. You make it sound like this is a very serious enterprise, and as anyone watching this interview can tell, this is a very serious enterprise, no? It is. We're about 35 people. We're growing very fast and uh, expanding uh, from uh, the initial Talking Friends series of products into games and edutainment. I'm joking. There's no way this can be serious. I'm a talking cat right now. But there's a lot of money at stake. You guys have brought in single digits, millions of revenues already for this, for this stupid talking cat? Yeah. Actually, the cat is... Uh, uh, it's a free app. People can download it for free, and uh, they can purchase uh, upgrades to have more animations, interactions with the character. But then also, we have some other applications and games that we sell for one dollar. Well, let me jump in. Some of the things that they can purchase: they can purchase ice cream to feed one of the pets, or or special things to to keep these animals alive. Andre, what did you do? What model did you follow to try to develop these in-game purchases to drive revenue? It's uh. It's about really engagement and how people engage with a character, how much, how much uh, you try not to monetize it in a very aggressive way, but how natural it is for the people to take care of their virtual pets and uh, connect with them. Uh, and then you know, they want to buy some extra uh, premium content for it. So I think we're probably one of the largest uh, sellers of uh, lemonade and ice cream in the world right now. Yeah, well, and it, it's striking also sort of the emotional connection that the users um, have with this ridiculous product. Was that by design? No, actually, we we uh, we never expected to hear stories from people that that really connected with some of our characters. For example, stories of families with kids with speech impediments and uh, and uh, very severe diseases that really uh, found a way to you know express themselves through these characters. So the emotional connection I think is really natural as long as you build great original characters that uh, are fun and uh, are making people happy. How do you know how that makes me feel? No, oh, oh. Um, uh, Let me ask you also about kids. I mean, there's got to be a line where you make the purchase too easy such that children using this app start spending their parents' money buying more upgrades and more in-game purchases. Yeah, so that's something that app, uh, Apple has solve in the new uh, version of the iOS platform that they, they don't allow the kids to make a purchase without their parents typing in their password. Andre, really quickly, Julie Hyman has a question. What is your next most popular animal that you sell, Andre? So we just launched Talking Tom 2, which is a sequel of our first character uh, that we launched last July. It uh, went live this weekend, and uh, so far, 5 million people downloaded the app. We did over 1 million downloads in one single day. After Tom, we're going to create another character, which, together with Ben and Tom, are going to create the you know, Crown IP, Tentpole property, around which we're going to create more episodic content and more games. Here we go. All right, well, Andre Nebergoy told me that they're minting millions of dollars for this app already, vastly profitable. The best thing is they're, they're programmers, right? But they, they, these guys um, bought the rights to the, the animal for 60 bucks on eBay. They said, let's just find a cute animal that we can use for this, paid 60 bucks on eBay and got the rights to the thing. Not a bad business model, I guess. Uh, it's, it's fantastic stuff. They think it's, they're, of course, they think it's going to be the biggest thing ever. They think it's going to be the next Groupon. They think it's going to be the next Dora the Explorer or something. And I guess they just speed up the voices. No, that's, that's actually what my voice sounds like. Really? I, I guess the there's something right wrong now. with my ears. <laughs> <laughs>